Great. Well, Derek, you have a tech corner now. We're going to let yes, you scurry do. thousands of microns away and, okay. and go check that one out. This is from our good friends at Creaform. We've done a few different tech corners with Creaform uh, over the course of time. This is their GoScan 20, which is an interesting new product from Creaform. And Dirk's going to take a look at it right now. So, Dirk, take it away. Yep. Well, thanks, Mike. Uh, as you said, we were going to look at uh, another product from Creaform. We looked at a product from Creaform a couple weeks ago. It was the Handy Scan, uh, which was a laser scanner. Today, we're going to look at the GoScan 20. It is part of uh, two products. So there's a GoScan 20 and a GoScan 50. We'll get to the difference between them in just a few minutes. But rather than a laser scanner, the GoScan is a uh, structured light, uh, structured white light scanner. And if you don't know how those work, uh, let me show you really quick kind of what the deal is. We'll go to the gauge cam here. And uh, looking at, uh, get this centered here, here we go. Uh, basically what you've got is you've got a projector here in the middle. And what this does is this projects a pattern onto the object that you're measuring. And that pattern wraps around any features, you know, conforms to uh, whatever the object is. And, and, and that deformation is being recorded by two cameras, actually three cameras in this case. You, uh, we're doing a triangulation method, right? So you've got a, uh, a pattern that's projected onto the part. You've got two cameras, uh, monochrome cameras, and one color camera. Now, this is the difference between this ghost scan and the old ghost scan that we covered about a year ago. The old ghost scan was monochrome. The new ghost scans are color. Now, there's a couple other things going on with the new ghost scans. They're, uh, they're lighter. Uh, they're more rugged. Uh, they're faster. That's in conjunction with the VX Elements software. And they're still available in black. Um, sorry about that. Um, the, what we're going to show you right now is actually how we're going to do a scan. Now, as we've shown you with other handy scan, I'm sorry, uh, Creaform scan products, the handy scan and the ghost scan, uh, you don't need to fixture. I could just hold this, take the scanner, take my part, sit there and scan this. Um, that is possible to do. Uh, it, with a smaller object, it gets to be a problem because you tend to get your hands in there. Also notice, if we go back to the gauge cam here, there are no targets on this. Uh, I, well, I shouldn't say there's one target, but basically what the scanner is looking for is the actual feature. So as it's scanning, it is collecting the data, the scan data, from the object, comparing it in real time to the geometry of uh, the features that it is already collected, and it is stitching those together in real time with no targets. Now, this works as long as you have a lot of features on there. If you don't have a lot of features, uh, then you would have to put targets on there in order to kind of assist the scan. But with the new Go scan, there's also what they call, what they call texture. They're measuring color as well, texture or color. Uh, so that if there's any color variation on the part, that is also being used to help in the alignment so that the cameras are seeing not only the geometry of the part, but also any color variation, and that color goes in there, there along with the geometry to help in the alignment. The uh, side effect of that, of course, is your finished scan also happens to be in color instead of monochrome, and we'll see that in just one second. So let's go ahead and do a scan. I'll show you what this looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and start my scan. And I've set this down on a table just to make life easier on me. And I'm going to go ahead and start collecting some scan data here. Now, if we go to the software screen, we can see that it is constructing our scan. So remember what's happening here in real time as I'm taking scan data. The scan data is, is coming in into VX Elements and it's being aligned in real time with the previous scan data. So without any targets, it's actually building up this 3D model. Now, the other thing that we pointed out a couple weeks ago, and that is one of the key things that um, Creaform likes to point out, is that you're going direct to mesh. There is no point cloud. There is no alignment required. There's no post-processing required. Once I'm done with this scan, I can, if I want it, simply export the mesh as, let's say, an STL file, and bring that right into maybe a 3D printer or some other piece of software. I can do whatever I want with it, because essentially at that point, it's done. Now, the other thing I want to point out is, if you notice on the left-hand side of the software screen, you see a little green bar. That's an indication of my standoff distance. I want to be working about 15 inches uh, from the surface as I'm scanning. If I get too close, that little green bar is going to turn red. If I get too far away, 
it's going to turn blue. And that's my visual indication that I'm at the right working distance for this, for this object that I'm scanning. And let me just scan a little bit more here, make sure I kind of get all the, all the nooks and crannies. And in just one second here, I'll tell you the difference between the GoScan 20 and the GoScan 50. Um, it's subtle, but important. Okay, we'll say that that scan is probably good enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop the scan. Now, while that's rendering, <clears throat> the difference between the GoScan 20 and the GoScan 50 really is the field of view and the resolution. So the GoScan 50 has a res resolution of up to 500 microns, but it has a field of view of about 15 by 15 inches. So it's scanning a fairly large area at a time. The GoScan 20 looks at a much smaller area, maybe about 4 by 6, 5 by 6, something like that. So it's scanning a smaller area, but it can scan at up to 200 microns resolution. So 500 microns for the GoScan 50, 200 microns for the GoScan 20. They both have an accuracy of about 100 microns. Uh, our scan is done here, so if we go back and we take a look, I'm going to filter out some of the extraneous stuff here. There we go. And you see we've got our completed 3D scan, and it's in color. And I just want to show you something here. If we kind of compare this to our, let me see if I can kind of arrange them in the same way. If we go back to our, let me see if I can orient that. Okay, that's about like that. Yeah, if we switch between the two, you can see we're capturing color and we've got this nice 3D scan in color. Now the typical use for this, uh, kind of the market that, that Creoform is say, saying they really kind of target this toward, is let's say prototyping, uh, video games, uh, cinema, uh, art. Uh, one, use, one, one of their customers was actually Cirque du Soleil who actually used, I believe, to scan people in order for the creation of, of costumes. So this is really uh, a product where you need to get a scan quickly it doesn't have to be super high resolution, 500 microns, 200 microns, depending on the scanner. And you want to be able to do that scan, export it, and get it out to somebody to use immediately. It might be simply as simple as sending it to a, a, a 3D printer. So remember, we finished the scan. That only took a few seconds, right, uh, to convert that. It took me a couple minutes to scan it. Remember, it's already a mesh. So all I have to do is say, save mesh. It's going to do a couple of last minute little calculations here. It's going to give me the option of what kind of file I want to save it as, STL or something else. And that's the end of it. I'm done. I send it out and I am good to go. So again, what we've been looking at is the, the GoScan 20. Uh, the other product is the GoScan 50. These are structured white light scanners. If you want more information on these, all you have to do is go to the link below the player page, uh, click it, and that will take you right out there to the, um, to, the GoScan, uh, to the GoScan page where you can look up either one of those. So once again, thanks to the folks at Creaform for sending this on to us. And um, that's it. Mike, back to you. Thank you, Derek. Well, there it is, the GoScan 20, as you say, from Creaform, our good friends at Creaform. It's uh, always good to have that uh, done by you, Dirk, as you walk back over. <laughs> as I walk, hey, Mike. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's great. Uh, thank you, Dirk, for doing that. Thank you for Creaform for sure. actually giving us that. Uh, uh, we've done a few of those for Creaform products, and uh, yeah. really, really neat stuff from them. Always. Well, scanners are fun. Yeah. And, and, and this one, like you said, is, is interesting in particular just because uh, it, it is kind of this scan and go. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 kind of their, their main thing that they're pushing on this is the... the, the that there's no necessity for doing any kind of post-processing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You just, you can just use that scan right out of there once you're done. So cool. it's yeah. pretty cool. Cool stuff. Great. All right. Yep. Thank you.